Hey everyone, Tim Percy here. I just completed my kayak trailer that I built for the up and coming 2018 tournament series. Uh, I used a lot of ideas that were kicking around in my head uh, over the last couple seasons. Uh, some of the things that I hope will make things go a lot smoother with loading, unloading, and transporting uh, the kayaks and gear. Less time I spend doing that, the more time I can spend on the water. The initial plan was to do a, a build, uh, build video, but uh, to be honest with you, the lighting in my garage got to be terrible and it's cramped, so it didn't work out quite the way I wanted to, but I'll give you a walk around and an overall view, and I'll use a little bit of that footage, I think, maybe in here to uh, give you an idea on how uh, I built the uh, rod locker for the tournament. The uh, kayak itself is a Malone Microsport XT trailer. Uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to tie for the Angler of the Year for the Cats Midwest uh, and this was part of the package so uh, Rob Babinski and myself split the package for that and I, I ended up with the trailer. So I'm uh, using the trailer with a few little modifications. Uh, thanks to Summit Sports for sponsoring uh, the series and to for Malone trailer for donating the trailer to the series. The rod locker itself is built out of half inch birch plywood. I had the Home Depot uh, cut it up to my dimensions. The overall width of the locker is 40 inches. That's just the width of this trailer. So uh, that's what I went with. The uh, side panels themselves are 10 inches. So between that and the extra half inch top and bottom. The overall height is 11 inches. The box itself is assembled using uh, a Craig jig to uh, drill the pocket screw holes. Once I had them all drilled, uh, I used glue to uh, assemble. Uh, one thing you've got to watch out for is before you do the assembly, you have to store the drawer, drawer slides. I'll show you the drawer slides right now. The drawer slides are five foot extensions. Uh, they're rated at 500 pounds. Uh, as I said, you have to install them on the side panels of the box before you uh, assemble the box itself, the outer box itself. Uh, you won't be able to reach all the way inside with only 10 inches uh, of room. Uh, you won't be able to reach all, all the way inside to uh, screw it in to the side panels. So I found it was easy just to lay out my center line on the side panels, lay the uh, drawer slides down, and then screw them in place. Uh, that way when I built the, when I assembled the box itself, uh, they're already installed. The other issue that I uh, planned ahead for was bolting it down to the trailer. Uh, the bottom pa panel I laid out on the trailer laid out my mounting locations. Um, there are a number of holes on the trailer frame itself that uh, I could bolt through, but uh, I knew I wouldn't be able to reach all the way into the uh, box itself to get a wrench on it to uh, tighten it up. So what I did, I, I used carriage bolts and uh, I installed them, laid out the, the holes on the uh, bottom panel drilled through and then installed the carriage bolts, got them down in and fastened in place uh, before I assembled the box. Uh, then it was just a matter of gently laying the, uh, bo the assembled box back on the trailer with those holes being lined up, dropping through. The drawer itself is uh, built again out of half inch plywood. Uh, all, I had all my measurements and everything figured out before I went to the Home Depot so it was just easy to go there and have them use their panel saw and slice up to the sizes I needed. Uh, the overall dimensions of the uh, drawer is uh, it's about uh, the box itself is a full eight feet long so it's a full full sheet of plywood. Um, the drawer itself I believe I went about an inch and a half uh, under the eight foot once I put the back panel on, on the box, it takes up a half inch, so I uh, just gave myself a little le leeway that way. So the box is an uh, uh, inch and a half shorter. The side panels were just uh, the leftover um, 
rips from the top and bottom panel. I think they come out to be about seven and a half inches high, which is fine. The side panels on the box had had to use another sheet of uh, plywood to rip that down. So the side panels on the box are 10 inches high. And like I said, with the overall, with the half inch top and bottom, the overall height of the box itself is 11 inches. Had uh, extra material floating around, so I built the the rod holders using. Um, it's uh, just, what is it, oh, uh, central vac tubing uh, that you can buy at the Home Depot. It's the cheapest tubing that they have there. Uh, I can't know what I think they're in, like 4 or $5 for an 8-foot length. So I cut them in half, got me two uh, tubes out of each. And used some extra material, drilled the two, hole, two inch holes, laid out uh, uh, how all the rods are going to go in. So there's a... Uh, this panel up front and then there's another panel that you can't quite see inside that uh, holds the tubes in. Once I got that done, I, the rod uh, end holders themselves, just a piece of uh, stock wood that I had floating around. Uh, these are rod clips that I had when I uh, built my uh, storage rack inside uh, my uh, tackle rack or whatever you want to call it in, in the uh, in the garage so I had a bunch of these floating around still uh, I'll try and find the link and put that in the description so they're just laid out uh, screwed down in I had some leftover under padding from uh, hardwood floors that we installed so I just thought I'd throw that down just add a little cushion at the bottom of the uh, drawer itself these are a set of utility box uh, hand locking handles that I got off of Amazon. These are from right here. They're uh, from uh, Red Hound Auto, I guess. Uh, that's the part numbers for them. Uh, it was just as cheap to buy a pack of four of these. Um, I, think I think they run about $24, $25 a piece, or it was like $50 five dollars for a pack of four so I went that way and bought the pack of four. The kayaks will rest on uh, a couple of uh, three inch PVC. Uh, I've got them end capped on each end and uh, the, the one end uh, the caps actually screw out. I use the uh, tubes themselves to transport my uh, power pole micro anchor spikes so uh, that gives me a location to uh, store them when transporting. They are resting on three uni struts. Uh, I originally had um, this rack itself was sitting on my other trailer, so it sort of dictated where things were going to line up. Um, I added an extra brace, I guess you can call it, mount, the, so the rack itself is the weight from the rack it's transferred down to the trailer and it's not solely resting on the um, rod locker. Um, the location of this is I had to fabricate uh, an extra bracket uh, for a bolting location. Um, if I were to, what would have done it from scratch, I would just you would have used the two back holes and uh, through the pipe up to the top, have the unit strut in that location, like I did here. front uh, bracket was, or sorry, the new strut was, um, there's, uh, the trailer doesn't, uh, the side don't go straight out that way, so I would have had to fabricate an extra, <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, tubing and everything else underneath that would go uh, to the trailer and back um, to get to that one, so I installed a third uni strut in the middle here. Uh, and put the brace in there to uh, take some of the weight off of the uh, box. So I think between the two of those, that should take the majority of the weight and transfer it uh, to the trailer rather than solely resting on the box. One of the things I find time consuming uh, when you're at the uh, launcher, it's, it's more, more time consuming when, you, when you're coming off the water and getting loaded up and strapped down um, depending on the strapping system you know I mean it 
takes a little bit of time. And, uh, so I went with these uh, self-winding uh, ratchet straps from Ericsson. Uh, these are uh, nine foot lengths. Six foot length just wasn't gonna cut it for uh, going over top of uh, PAs. So um, they're designed to bolt down. So I just uh, um, welded an extra washer on the end of uh, the uni struts and uh, that way I can uh, bolt right through. Uh, it's strong. So the idea behind these is just put it like that, push in, then you can unwind. I've got a uh, U-bolt installed through the unit strut in the middle. Some guys aren't fans of ratchet straps. They worry about pulling down too tight, but uh, I mean, if you're careful and don't wrench it down as tight as you can go, uh, they're just they're, they're, they're fine. Then with these, boom, they're back in their regular spot, stowed away, nice and quick. So that should make uh, loading up at the launch go a lot quicker. I purchased this. Uh, tongue box, I guess a utility trailer box, whatever you want to call them, uh, through e-trailer. It's called the DZ uh, tongue box, I believe it is. I'll provide a link for it anyways. I looked around and did a lot of research trying to find the best size box for, for my setup. Um, this one was the one that gave me the most space anyways um, uh, that would fit in my location. So. I looked at some of the um, uh, diamond plated aluminum ones. Um, some of the ratings weren't that great because they use uh, a pretty, th uh, pretty thin metal. So, uh, and I just couldn't find one that uh, would suit my need for, for space, for height. And I, I wanted it so that I could store um, a couple of my Mirage drives in, in uh, inside. So this one is bolted in. Got a couple of Mirage drives. Mirage drives uh, in there. Still got room to store some tools or whatever I want. Um, I'll probably put my tire iron and a couple other things like that in there, uh, just to have a have. Uh, we'll throw a padlock on it. But well, as we all know, locks only keep the honest people out. The Malone uh, Microsport XT trailer comes with a set of springs. I think they're rated. 350 pounds. Um, I knew that wasn't going to cut it between having two PAs, uh, the rod locker, and uh, anything else on soft. Uh, uh, the, the, those springs would have been too soft. Uh, there would have been too much sag. Uh, so I went to Princess Auto. They uh, they sell uh, a spring the same length, same everything else, but uh, they're rated at a thousand pounds. So what they are is they're each spring has four. Um, four springs themselves stacked. So I, I took out uh, two two of the the lower springs, you know, the smaller springs that I had with it. So as it stands right now, um, these should be rated at about uh, 750 pounds, which should be ample enough to weight to uh, or ample enough strength to uh, carry what uh, I'm going to be transporting. Anyways, uh, I'll monitor that. Uh, if it uh, needs a little bit more, then uh, I still got uh, uh, the extra springs there that I can add to the stack. Uh, move the trailer lights. They're normally installed up where I had the uh, the other bracket where I installed that bracket. But I moved them back to the far back edge of the rod locker. Uh, should give uh, uh, be vehicles behind me a better sight of my lights anyways. I've got three things left to do uh, on the trailer. One, I'm going to fabricate uh, a mount for my spare tire. They uh, they make a couple different ones out there that you can uh, bolt to the, uh, to the tongue itself and it sits on the side. I kind of like mine sitting up like that so I'm going to fabricate uh, a bracket that I can mount uh, the, the spare tire right there. The other thing I'm going to do is uh, I don't have a, a jack on the front yet. Um, I'm probably gonna go with a wheeled version of a jack. I'll uh, wait to see if Princess Auto has uh, a thousand pound one. 
uh, come on sale. I'll grab one then. And one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the PVC with carpeting. Uh, I find that uh, with transporting uh, the kayaks on the PVC, I mean, for longer trips or whatever else, uh, if you happen to get some sand or grit in between uh, on the bottom of the kayak when it gets in here, it starts to wear a little bit. I just know small little spots on, on the PVC start to wear. So better safe than sorry. I'm going to throw some carpeting across them. I'll just uh, grab some lengths of carpet, wrap them, and probably just uh, wire tie it around and hold them in place. I had to move things back inside the garage here, the kayak cave. Uh, to wrap this up, uh, it's getting awful windy out there and the uh, wind noise is messing up the audio. Sorry about the audio for the other portions. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention was what I used uh, to seal up the rod locker itself. I used a marine epoxy uh, sealer on the box, on the outer box itself. I put a few coats of that on and then there's a couple coats of uh, Rust-Oleum uh, outdoor paint uh, on top of that. I'm hoping the, the combination of those two things will uh, seal up the box uh, quite well and uh, give it some extra life out there in the elements. That'll about wrap up uh, the video. I hope you can use some of the ideas that uh, I used on uh, this build. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below or you can track me down through my email, Facebook, wherever, and uh, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I decided to start building the uh, rod locker for uh, my kayak trailer. Um, Got the Malone trailer that I've uh, assembled, but uh, I'm gonna change it up a little bit the way uh, way the kayaks are gonna sit on top, and I'm gonna have a rod locker so I can store all my uh, rods and reels underneath the kayaks. The initial plan was to get the rod locker built out of diamond plate aluminum, but unfortunately, uh, the people I was dealing with are little tied up and busy so I don't have uh, the equipment to uh, to uh, break the aluminum and to weld uh, aluminum unfortunately I've got a MIG welder but uh, uh, it doesn't weld aluminum so I'm gonna go by way of half inch uh, plywood uh, I went to uh, the Home Depot and uh, had it all cut up to my, my dimensions a lot easier that way than get out the circular saw and uh, try and rip it all down myself or use my radial arm saw. I uh, got rid of my table saw a while back so I would have been able to do it that way but uh, just as easy just to get them to do it for me. Uh, the other thing I picked up, I picked up uh, a couple drawer slides. Uh, these are five foot long extend and drawer uh, drawer extensions uh, they're capable of holding uh, 500 pound capacity I got them uh, from a company called or and or in the US I think they're about a uh, hundred and fifty dollars US unfortunately it cost me about another fifty dollars to get these things uh, shipped uh, they're, they're quite heavy but uh, I wanted uh, the ability to pull the drawer out five feet uh, the box itself is going to be uh, eight feet long. Uh, I don't use anything right now longer than basically a seven foot three. Uh, I think some of my musky rods might be seven sixes, uh, but uh, I should be able to get uh, get all the rods that I use, anyways. In it lengthwise, it's going to be forty inches wide, which uh, fits between the uh, the fenders of the uh, kayak trailer and about 10 inches high so 10 inches uh, high which uh, I've got a couple ideas I'm going to see how they play out uh, how I'm going to uh, stack the rods inside uh, I'm going to uh, build some bracketing inside to hold them and separate them so we'll see how it goes but 
this is how she's starting off just some raw lumber and then I'm gonna have to figure out uh, what I'm gonna use to seal it all up uh, to uh, seal the wood up and uh, protect it from the elements I've gone and drilled all the uh, pocket holes for the screws to hold the sidewalls to the uh, top and bottom uh, I will glue it as well but I like to use mechanical fasteners as well to hold everything together the back wall of the uh, outer box uh, will just be glued and I'll use some brad nails to hold that together I won't be able to get back once it's all assembled I won't be able to get back into the back to uh, uh, t t with a screw with the uh, screwdriver so I won't be able to fasten it that way but uh, some, some good glue and some uh, brad nails will hold that on not, not a problem uh, next I'm gonna have to lay out for I've got the layout line for the um, drawer slides so I'm gonna look at put getting those ready and uh, lining those up checking that all out and the inner box or the drawer itself will be uh, built the same way just a little smaller dimension and uh, let's get back at it <laughs> 